Remember, City Hall has been closed for years. Some of the newest members of the City Council have never participated in a council hearing in person inside City Hall. When we went inside today, it turns out most of the lights are off and hardly anyone is inside. Baltimore City Hall stands in the heart of the city, but the public is still not allowed inside. Today, walking through the dark hallways, lights only coming on as we make our way through. Empty city council chambers as meetings remain virtual. Empty office after office and elected leaders hardly in sight. Hello, we'll Hi there. I was wondering if the city council president was here. No, not, he's not in today. He's not in today? Mm -mm. Okay, thank you. Can you tell me where the other city council members' offices are? They will be upstairs. They're upstairs? Mm -hmm. On the fifth floor? Yeah, but you have to have a badge to go up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know if any of them are here? No, I don't have their schedules. Okay. All right, thank you. We did not need a badge to get to the fifth floor. Spotted in another hallway. Is that him in the office? Council member Mark Conway seen through the window. Otherwise, another virtual workday for the leaders in Baltimore. Meanwhile, in Annapolis, opposed no, the eyes have it. The Maryland House of Delegates today fully meeting once again, masked but working in person. As the city heads into the third year dealing with COVID-19, the newest members of the city council have never participated in a city council meeting in person. And Mayor Brandon Scott continues to point to the pandemic as a reason to keep the doors closed. The city council is hiding behind COVID as an excuse. David Williams from the Taxpayers Protection Alliance says city hall should be open. The state house, schools, courthouses, other city halls all open to the public. There's no reason why the city council can't figure out a way to do this safely. But in Baltimore, legislating only works by logging on. When we've asked the city council members before, Councilman Antonio Glover tells me he and his staff have been working inside in person since his administration began after getting elected. But when the city council members will return for these in-person council hearings, we still have no idea. Outside City Hall, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.